Hi everyone, so my name is Neeraj Kheria and we will be discussing on Power BI today. We will be discussing a simple graph visualization by using a local data set, how to import them. So there are multiple data sources that we can connect to Power BI. So we can click on get data and we can see we have multiple data sources to choose from. So if we are having a data set available in a remote database instance, for example, we are having data in Oracle database engine in MySQL, PostgreSQL, Postgre, Teradata, Redshift as a part of data, data warehouse and so on. So we can connect to these different data sources and then we can try to pull the data directly from there so that we can create visualizations. And if we have a local file available that we can choose, let's say CSV, Excel workbook, JSON, folder structure, PARA-K file. If we have the data stored on, let's say, the storage account server offered by Azure, so again, these things can be directly imported because again, they both are going to be available here. So right now we are going to make use of a local Excel workbook, which contains a sample data set for a store named as Global Superstore, which contains the sales report for last four years. So whenever we are going to import any Excel workbook, we will be able to see all three sheets are going to be available here. So we can see here we have orders and we have people then we have the returns available so if we take a look at the orders we can select orders then we have people then we have returns so we'll be able to see that these all different sheets are going to be imported as different tables altogether Are we all clear on how to import the given data set into Power BI? Next to start now here we have three tabs. We have the reports, then we have the data set, and then we have the relationship tab where we can set up multiple relationship between the tables that we have imported. So to get started, what we can do is we can go in and choose any of the measures. So this Numerical value columns are going to be highlighted with a sigma single with, with a sigma symbol called as the measure. And then this is going to be plot against any kind of the we can say categorical data set. So for example, the company has a problem statement that means they want to find out the year by year or here by year, they want to see the profit distribution across different years. So here we have the year, and for showing the profit distribution across different years. We have the option of the order date, so we can plot this. And we can see here we have the entire division based on the yearly basis. So you can see the profit in as a whole has increased from 2011 to 2012, and then again in 13, and again, again in 14 as well. Now this gives more like a standard picture, but again, the company wants to dive deeper how it has been divided among different quarters and months so we can remove year from this timeline so now we can see the profit distribution in different quarters now these since the data here is for four years we are seeing the aggregate value of quarters for all four years that means quarter two for quarter two for 2011 12 13 and 14 quarter three for 2011 12 13 and 14 and so on for all four years and then if you remove quarter then we can see now the results are being shown for month and to present this more in a systematic manner we can go in and make use of line graph than the bar graph now we can see we have a better visual and again a better insight that earlier if we were looking at the year by year graph so it was like a straight curve as you can see here but now since we have dived deeper into into months that now we can see how the profit distribution has been across different months so now we have a much detailed picture of the current insight about the company. So you can see that from January till February, there was a dip in profit and then it increased in March. Again, there was a decline in profit in April. And then again, from April till June, it was a good season. And again, in July, the profit dipped to a great extent. And then again, it was a steep increase in profits in August. Again, a continuous increase in September. Then there was a slight dip in profit in October. Again, the highest peak in November. 
and again slightest dip, slightest dip in December. Now we are having a better insight on this. And if you want to divide this on a year by year growth basis, so what we can do is we can go ahead and use year as a given legend. So for example, in the same graph, now we can see we have all the four years report available on whatever we have covered on top of Power BI. 